Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing giant B10 guide using budget.com. And by budget, I mean you don't need to spend a single money to get them because they are attainable to you new players and they're free, okay? And uh, we're also gonna find out what the, the minimum stat we need to shoot for to make this budget.com work. Now, I have OP status on my monster, so of course it's gonna work, guys. How is it not gonna work? Look at that. Very OP. So what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna nerf each one of my rune it's run, okay? Starting from the slot one. This is gonna be gone, and then next, the third slot is gonna be gone, and so on. We are going to see how far we can go and what are the minimum stats we can shoot for, okay? Let's go. You guys can get the Wind Phoenix from Fusion, and so you is the Pheromos. Just go to the Fusion and get them. Especially now with the newbies event, there's this mission that allows you to finish a certain event which gives you Fusion material, and it's so easy for you guys now to make Fusion materials such as Pheromos and Sigmarius. Unlike in my time, it was very hard, guys. Lucky for you, I saw NPS about that. And Sanon. Sanon, uh, the 2-star fairy that I did not even 6-star. Yeah, that one. You can get her from Unknown Scrolls or the Magic Shop, okay? And the Belladion. The Belladion is tricky though. Because you need to wait until the Hall of Light in the Kairos dungeon to appear. And you need to start begging in the chat. Whenever someone gets the Light Inugami dungeon, you need to start begging, guys. Please, please let me... At me, I need the Light Inugami dungeon, okay? I know it sucks, but we all been there, okay? That's what most new players have to do. And finally, we have Bernard. Bernard you can get from Mystical Scrolls or the Tamor dungeon. Tamor dungeon is that desert dungeon you can find from the temple. So, see what I mean by budget? These are all free, guys. You don't need to spend money. They're all available to you in-game. Now what makes this comp very strong is that they have all the necessary debuff. All the necessary buff. Yeah, look at that. We have the glancing, now we have the dots, we have the defense break, we have the speed buff, now we have the defense up and the attack up. Return! Oh, and we're supposed to get attack break from the Pronato skill just now, but instead we got the attack break from the Bernard second skill. So look at that. We have everything we need. And we can use the second skill of Belladion to strip the attack buff that the crystals are gonna give to the giant making this comp very very safe and nice okay <laughs> now as promised for the second run i have taken all the slot 1 runes from all my monsters check it out guys no slot 1 right here no slot 1 oh i didn't mean to do that pero come back <laughs> no slot 1 right here mm -hmm. There we go. Now, can we still clear this dungeon with these stats? We'll find out. I also wanna talk to you guys about the importance of Pheromos in this comp. Now, uh, Pheromos is just there. In case if the boss, the boss can land defense break on all of the unit. And if that happens, it's going to hurt. Especially if the boss has the attack buff that one of the crystal can give to the boss. That's why you need the Pheromos to clear the defense buff in case if it lands. Now I know Pheromos has a leader skill of 33% okay, but don't use your Pheromos leader skill, instead use the Sigmarius leader skill, cause it's superior by 11%. The Water Phoenix gives you 44% HP, and these stats allows, allows you new players to gym all those stats that you lack okay. It's gonna help a lot, that's why, that's why I cannot stress enough the importance of having the Water Phoenix for this dungeon too. Pheromos, the Water Phoenix, these two fusion monsters. You just need to get. They're so OP, guys. The Water Phoenix before was not that strong, but now, lucky for you, again, lucky for you, new players, the Water Phoenix has been buffed into one of, of the very strong monsters in the game. Now, the third skill of the Water Phoenix can freeze, okay? It used to only deal damage and attack down. Now, it can freeze. I'm so envious of you guys. So, please. Please guys, get the Pheromos and the Water Phoenix. Now this this boss though, I mean this mid boss, rumor has it that he has 100% resistance. That's why it might take a long time in this fight. So what I usually like to do is that, on that fight, I tap the boss on the middle, okay? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be auto, but it's cheating. There we go. Now, this comp is looking safe. Look at that, none of our monster HP has dropped below 30% And our Bella doesn't even need to heal So I can safely assume that it's gonna work guys 
especially after we land a defense break and a takedown from the boss, not scary anymore. And Aperna, even with low attack, her skill, the second skill and the third skill, scales off the enemy's maximum HP. That's why it hurts, okay? So you guys don't have to worry that much about having attack on Aperna. And Pharaoh, look at Pharaoh. Every time Pharaoh attacks, he puts a dot. And yeah, that's just OP, what can I say? <laughs> Let's see how fast we clear this dungeon this time. So we cleared it this time at 2 minutes 33. I say not bad guys. So it works. Let's see how far we can push this. Here we are at the third run. So therefore our monsters are no longer having the slot 1 and 3. Ooh, look at that guys. Can we still clear the dungeon? That's the question. Now some of you guys are probably wondering why I do not 6 star my Shannon. It's really simple really. Cause I'm a late game player and Shannon just sucks to me and I don't really need her so. Why are you talking like that? I'm just building her for this guide for you guys. <laughs> Here we are with squeezier status. So the the run should be riskier and it should take longer than it should. But look at that, look at the Water Phoenix still doing work. Even with her attack now very nerfed, it's because of the Shannon. The Shannon attack buff really does impressive work here. And we're at the second stage already, look at that. Now, you guys probably think that Yes, you can do this with the kind of stuff just because you have max skill tower, right? Yes, I do guys. I have most of my tower max skills, but tower only gives you so much status, okay? So don't really... Yeah, I don't really think too much about the tower. Just make a comp that works. Should be... You should be set to go. And with this comp, you have all the buff you need, all the, de all the debuff you need. Ah, now these things can be annoying when they freeze your monster, and the bad thing about Pheromos is that he cannot cleanse the inability effect such as stun and freeze, but it's okay guys, this thing only freezes and they don't hurt that much. So here we are at the boss. Oh, we did not land anything this time. And the boss resisted everything this time. But are we in trouble guys? No, because the Pharaoh Moss, as you guys saw, just cleansed the towers attack. And since we have no defense break, and with the defense buff we had, the boss still does shit damage even with our status now gym with no slot 1 and slot 3. Look at that. Now, come on Bella, I need you to strip that attack buff from the boss. Make this run even safer. Do it! Shist! There we go. <laughs> Bella is so good. Bella is so good. And there we have it guys, let's see how fast we clear it this time. Oh, 2 minutes 45, that doesn't take that long. Not bad for now, so I say. And it's budget, remember guys, this is budget com. Yay, we made it to the 5th stage! But this is where we're probably gonna fail guys, cause you know how much more efficient the 2nd slot, the 4th slot and 6th slot are compared to the rest of the slots, right? I mean, look at this. My Sigma is now one squishy as slow Sigma. And this is one as squishy slow Pharaoh. <laughs> and the Burnout too. So is the Bella. But most importantly is the 5 star Shannon. Look at that. Can even call this status as a unit for Giant B10. Are we really pushing this guys? <laughs> this is probably the run where we are gonna see our Bella Dion finally using the heal. Cause all this time... Our HP has never dropped below 30%, I mean below 70% that the Bella would actually care to heal. But we'll see guys, we'll see in this one. But looks like the opponent is not doing shit to our HP. Cause we're just killing them like totems. I mean with the Pharaoh stun and the Sigmarius stun, usually you can just lock down the enemy. Before they lock you down with their body slam like this, okay. Oh, oh, look at that, guys. Uh, our uh, Sigmar's HP actually went drastically low. That Bella forces the heal. So, yeah, I was right. This is actually the fight where we actually forces the heal. So, it's risky. With only. How much rune do we have again? With only two runes? Yeah, we only have two runes on each monster, right? This is risky. 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 So, can we still clear it? That's a question. 
Now, even if we are able to clear with this status, you guys should consider about the consistency, okay? I mean, sure, it may work this time, but it may not work the next time. That's why whatever status we concluded in this video, try to aim a little higher so that let's just say the higher status you get, the more consistent it's gonna be, okay? And the more devil mode you put into this monster, the more consistent it's gonna be. I think at this stage we're just gonna skip to the boss. You know what guys? What I scared the most during the boss fight is not that our status is now weak, but it's our accuracy, okay? The more rune that we took away from our monster, the less accuracy we have and the less debuff we're gonna land on, the, on this boss. And that's what makes the consistency very weak. If you're gonna, you know, GM your status away from your runes, that's what's gonna happen. See, notice how many times the boss resisted this time. It caused our accuracy is now shit. So, I suggest aiming around 45 accuracy, that's the max accuracy you can get for the giant B10. 45%, okay guys? Uh, you don't have to hit that high, but try to make it around 20, I say. That's the consistent uh, states you wanna get. But, yeah, we still win! <laughs> Even with only 2 runes on each of our monster, we still win. But, should consider the consistency, as I said. And it's taking 3.42 minutes. <laughs> you know, at the beginning of this guide, when I made this video guys, I never thought we would actually go this far. Now our monster only had one rune. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Only one rune hit. No way we're gonna clear it this time, right? No way. I mean, you guys saw in the last fight, we did win, but it was risky. But this time, we're just really pushing it. No way, right? If we win, it's stupid, guys. Hmm. Oh, our Perna still landing freeze, even with almost zero crit rate. I guess that should be expected though, I mean, uh, not Perna, Sigmarius <laughs> awakens to crit rate, right? So she has uh, 30 crit rate naturally. Oh, wait, what? We're still winning. Are we actually doing this? <laughs> Second stage, and we have full HP. So that's a good start. Can we get pep talk? No, no pep talk. Scary guys, we have the pep talk. Uh, the crystals. They do tons of damage, look at that. And the shadow is almost dead. Ah, the pep talk. The pep talk is here. And the pharaoh just stupidly stuns everyone. Okay, great. Great, keep that up. Oh, if we win, it's stupid though. <laughs> and for sure, it's not gonna be consistent. That's for sure. Oh, oh, oh. But the thing with this state, the the minion, the giant minion, doesn't hurt as much as the crystals. So this state is actually not that scary. So yeah, let's fast forward to the boss. Here we are guys, moment of truth. But we have no pep talk and the boss is gonna... Oh, we did not land the attack buff! Nice, we landed the defense break, but no, 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 Whoa! that's bad, that's really, really bad. Oh, can we still do it? Only with the Pharaoh, the Bernard, and the Belladion. Not likely, like, I mean, if we can put enough dots, though, it's possible. Come on, come on, yes, take off the seats. Now, Pharaoh's gonna cleanse. Oops. Okay, tell me, tell me, nice, 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 oh! There we go guys, we cannot clear this dungeon with only one rune on each of monster for this budget comp. It's not possible, okay? So these are the final stats, I mean the minimum stats requirement that we concluded from this guide. For the Perna, make sure that she's this tanky with plus 7000, mm, doesn't really care about the attack that much, and the speed, not a problem. And the Pharaoh, for the Pharaoh, make him a little tanky and speedy, maybe around his stats, yeah? The accuracy. Make sure it's quite nice so that he can put up dots. 
and for the Bernard, just make him this tanky with that little speed. I guess speed doesn't really matter for a giant weekend, nor does the speed order, right? And for the Bella, yeah, similar. You guys see uh, the similar stat of this uh, support with each other around 10,000. That's what works. And finally, the five star Shannon. <laughs> oh, the Shannon is definitely getting carried by the team. But yeah, this works. It's not that consistent, but we found out the minimum stat requirement to auto this. And as you guys continue to auto and win, you get more runes, right? The stronger runes you have, the more consistent your run is gonna be. So that's it for the guide guys, thank you for watching and I hope that you guys can safely and consistently successfully farm with auto budget comp, okay? I'll see you guys in my next video, see ya! Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the bell button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Discord, which you can find the link down below.